Mm -hmm. Flares himself also had a very similar game on that one that they couldn't quite close out as well. So we'll see if that can happen one more time with the end game going a bit better. For now, the game's about to get started, so start sending your votes. Tweet at LOL Esports, either hashtag TDK win, hashtag NME win. Let us know who you think is going to win this game. And we will get ourselves into it very shortly here. TDK looking for their first win. This should be, to their predictions, their last game with substitutes as they expect their mid laner and AD carry to come on back. Enemy Esports still full steam ahead, looking to get to two and two. Onto this enemy duo lane. Kez already slinking oh, around. Up as well. He's two minutes away from level six. He just needs like something to die nearby. Asher lands an Otter flash box. The flay into landed as well. Otter flashes out, but Kez is right here, lands the Q, doesn't oh! actually land the Otter. Forced to flash to chase, gets the first blood. Now Latman doing what damage he can back on a body drop. They will get the double kill, both going to Kez. Dodge that, Kalista. <laughs> Latman right to the face. Nice Ash arrow to set everything up. Bishu though, no flash. Yeah, that's gonna be a really good two-man shockwave. Trashy turrets don't like him this weekend. Forced to run away, the flash engage doesn't succeed. Bishu gets out safe. Kalista. Yeah, and you have to make sure you hit the AD carry. Again, it's just useless to hit the enemy support if the fates call us up at all. But a big trade on a body drop. They just go all in for Smoothie, because guess what? Gragas is here to help get an assist. The Ren finally comes in. Otter gets his first kill of the game. All right, answer there for enemy. Much needed down bottom. They want to get this Kalista. Uh, oh, up to Bloodthirster. Looks like he's going for the uh, Max and Q, yeah. Q Max route, yeah. The more, more poke oriented. I love it! All right, let's get to the game. <laughs> All right, back into the game. The body drop is a new computer. It seems to be working, so here we go. Uh, again, we are 12 and a half minutes in, 13 minutes in. A close game with TDK winning and kills. Flares oh, TPing into the bot lane. We'll get the stun on a smoothie, and battle has begun. The Q lands so much damage being dealt in right away. Enemy get the kill. Yeah, great choice there from Flares. Uh, targeting Thresh not only because... Well, Max has uh, a ton of money in his pockets right now. He needs to buy soon. Yeah, uh, and as far as that, you know, early sight stone that we were going to track from Kez that he got off of those uh, last hits for the first couple kills, he's used it all on the top oh, side. Enemy come from the bottom man, side. Though. The flash Q from body drop, explosive cask. Otter gets the kill. That was extremely well executed. Is that a bard yell from the crowd? I think he deserves one for that play. Beautiful flash binding. Main enemy. Yeah. Some territory to work with. Earlier you had mentioned the fact that Kez getting those two kills helps with the early sight stone. You do see the item lead matter right ah. there. Body drop gets caught up and good by Ash Arrow just to look cool. Seraph lying in wait in the brush on top side. Oh, oh the is. ult's only going to be slows right here. Otter pops the heal, but still gets locked up. Kill grab. Body drop will land the double CC, but Flares gets arrowed out of his own teleport, so nothing gained for enemy esports. Now the chase on towards Bishu. NX getting a lot of damage done. Barrier pop. There's a land here, but it's not going to be enough. Trashy gets the kill. Enemy answer back. Yeah, there's something gained, and we're still at an even game here. So enemy able to get control of mid lane. That could have been the makings of a kill right here, and now the battle for Dragon has begun. Rend is stacked Look up. Look at Body Drop's trying to take the arrow right now, because he knows he can rely on Kalista Ultimate. Body Drop, the point man. Dragon one picked up the stun onto Seraph. Only a shockwave to buy some time. Flares in the back line. Equalize used as well. Now how's the engage going to be? Flares quite low towards the back line. Goes Rumble, and he's going to die off. And now the chase in towards Smoothie. That's going to be the kill for Inox. A 2-0 for Enemy plus Dragon. Yeah, great sidestep there from Enemy. Able to Lay take ultimates. Right, they've got to dodge away from those ultis. We've seen games just get turned around by one bad team fight. Flare's actually a bit over aggressive. 1v3 inside the base. He will die for that, and the gold goes to Latman. He needs it desperately. It will be in a top turret goes down, but that's almost an inevitability anyway. Is key. All right, let's see if this collapse on Baron works. You know, TDK, they're desperate right now. They, they're venturing outside of the base. New territory. They're going towards the Baron. They stopped the Baron. Yes, they did lose the inhibitor, but uh, they were able to chase enemy on. Ooh, they stun up Kez. Body slam does a fair bit. The ulti not going to knock Kez out of the lantern. He was out of the radius before it exploded. No pickup there. And here's the interesting thing is so many teams, they choose to win games by taking Baron and pushing with that. But Baron groups them up for the TDK ultimates. So enemy have to pick a different way of winning the game. Nice stun onto Flares right here. The box in the play as well. They're going to kill him, but they're... Yeah, Latman will survive after they all. They and Rumble Oh, ultimate. crucial flash by Inox. Rumble, he goes on towards Otter. Body drop gets pulled right through. Kez takes a journey the to the wrong side of the fight. 
What a juke with that magical journey. It's down. And slowly but surely, that is actually working. Enemy gonna have to give up another turret here. Oh, oh. my god, the damage on a Seraph. The turret still goes down. Maybe enemy keeps going. There are deep wards that He's players alive. could teleport on, and there, there it is. Teleport a bunch of pings saying, warning, 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 Aurelia is here. TDK trying to rob a Seraph is 300 health. Literally, that is it. There's the first kill picked up, and the Bardolf need to lock even more down. Shockwave to buy some time, but there's no follow-up. The other ultis are gone, and there's the engage from Inox. He picks up Latman, smoothie jumps the wall. Trashy does as well, forcing another flash away from Bishu. And now goes rest of TDK. Two kills picked up for enemy esports with Baron still available. Yeah, Baron's on the table. They should immediately go there if they want to pull it off. However, there's a teleport on Seraph and Ash coming up in 20 seconds as well. There's a wave inside the base too. They could maybe ride that into the Nexus. I feel like ending it would be overreaching for enemy. I agree. And, and that would be exposing themselves to a turnaround from TDK. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, gonna take the double inhibitors uh, and head back. Now what they can do is just clean that giant wave that's gonna be at their secondary turret top and go over to Baron to try and play that fog of war game with LeBlanc. Yeah, uh, that we keep prepping. A few objectives for his team. Yep, looks like TDK realized if they go for a dragon, enemy esports just takes Baron right off the bat. Very little time TDK gets to leave their base. Seraph is actually holding the bot lane. He has teleport. The rest of TDK have to keep mid under control, but Smoothie getting caught out right there. Kev's also going to get rooted up by Inox, and that's going to be a two-man bar. They did cards this fight out. Two-man shocker to buy some time. More old is coming through, but where is Seraph? He's not dealing any damage at all. And finally, Smoothie goes down. Now to engage a little bit further. Equalizer is still available, but is not used. That should be Baron. Despite all the CC that landed on the rest of enemy esports, so you're right. Baron on the table. And here comes what might be the final push then. Two minutes left of the Baron buff. Quick bookkeeping enemy esports walk in to push the base down. They've still got flares in the bot lane. A lot of poke. Kez loses more health. A great shockwave comes in. Here's the engage. They've blown up Otter. And enemy esports realize the difficulty of chasing away from this comp. Three kills picked up as Seraph Flares joins in. Turret. Yeah, but Flares is pushing into the base. He's knocked one turret down already. Turns right back around. Three kills for zero. One turret picked up. All right, well, Flares, once again, he's got four people down uh, at his lane. The rest of Whoa, enemy... Oh, man. he's taking on all challengers. Well, he's buying a lot of time for his team to push the top, and if they chase Flares, these guys are going to lose their third inhibitor, and Seraph and Kez still going for it. The flash away from Flares, the flash follow from Kez, and he's not even dead yet. Finally gets picked up, but the team is right there. Arrow misses. That would have smacked Otter, who had a QSS. And Flares dies too fast for his team to push on in. There's a Shockwave. Hook on a Trashy. Bartle used to buy some time, and will they kill Latman? They're going to try. Trashy rooted up, hit up by the Equalizer, but down goes the Ash. The hook Ooh. won't quite land. Enemy barely squeaking away. Kez on the chase. Ruin King used Seraphs in tow, and they're going to kill almost everybody. Otter doing what he can to stay alive. Looks for Seraph. The Ren's not going to be even there, and it's an ace for TDK, who have still held on. Hey, there. Base may be in ruins, but they are getting a lot of gold out of these constant kills they're picking up. The AOE team, man. But he can get checked down just the same. No MR except for that cowl on him. Stunt lands an otter. Good QS has to stay safe. And Inox goes one more time for some poke onto Kez. Looks like the mid and bottom hits will both go down here. TDK unable to fight so far, but maybe they find something soon. With the Sejuani ulti, they find Otter. There's oh. a disengage open to catch his flares and smoothie. Not the targets they wanted. Otter drops, and here comes the rest of that fight. Two kills picked up, both of hits down. So far, it's a 3v4 in favor of enemy esports. But where's the cleanup going to be? A second kill for flares. That might be the kills they needed to win the game. Flares comes in, but he's going to get hooked into the fountain. It's a flash away from it. Inox is there to clean up, though. It's a 4v2 with Baron, with two dead inhibitors. Finally, the game comes through for enemy esports. Bard is victorious for the second game in a row. Enemy improved to 2-2. Two and two. Woo. Yeah, congratulations yeah. to enemy, grabbing another win for themselves in the North American LCS. Good fight there, strong fight from the TDK and their subs in the end. Never gave up a single.